Hello, this is Nerzman from the Maxon Training Team, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to take geometry which has an out-of-place axis and align it to the geometry. Now, this will only work if your geometry has some geometric feature, maybe one polygon, maybe a few polygons or points that define the perpendicularity we're looking for, because this is a cubic type object, and I like it to be sat on the ground sitting on these four points. I do know that this object has these four points, which I'm certain they are aligned at the bottom. So I'm going to use these four points and I'm going to use them with the axes tool. So I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to go here. I'm not going to bother with the center. I'm going to bother with the alignment and I'm going to align all axes to the selected edges. And you may ask, these are not edges. Yes, but it works with points if you have it on selected edges. So if I execute this, I'm getting the proper alignment. Now I can always go and center it as well and place it where I want. So just click on uh, center and press execute again. It's going to do what you want and it's going to place the axis in the center of the object and then you can bring it down. But I want to show you an alternative technique just in case you don't want to use this or you can't use it for whatever reason. So let's turn this off and go to my model mode. And although the axis has moved because we didn't align it, it's still oriented properly based on these four points. Let's go to the object's coordinates and let's zero out the position and the rotation. And let's go to the top view and see what's going on. In the top view, you can see that everything is top aligned now. We don't see any double edges or anything like that. So as far as this orientation, it's correct. What is not correct is the other rotation, the rotation around the Y. And how we can fix this is quite simple. First of all, let's turn on snapping and turn on the axes tool. Make sure you have the move tool and move the axes over here so it snaps to that point. Now what I'm going to do is turn this off and I'm going to go and place it at the center of the world. The objective at this point is to rotate it so that with this pivot, this point touches this axis on the work plane. So if I press P to bring up my snap settings and uh, dock this over here, I can say activate my grid and work plane snap. Now let's go to the rotation tool and let's use the axis extension functionality. Press Control or Command on your Mac and right click here and release the mouse button and release the key press. Now I'm only moving the mouse, I'm pressing no buttons. Go here until you snap and click your left mouse button and drag until it snaps to the grid point. And there you go, it's fully oriented. Turn off your snapping and let's go and see how this object looks over here. It's nicely placed and let's just go and use the axes tool to zero out that rotation and now everything is perpendicular. And you can use any method you want to place your axes in the center. But as far as creating the axes orthogonally to the geometry, that's one way you could use. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.